Numbers released today show how many people successfully enrolled in the president's health care plan in its first month, but they are hundreds of thousands of people short of the goal. Tom Rousey reports. We were very happy with our health care. We thought for sure we'd be able to keep it. But Falls Church small business owner and father of three, Tom Coates, says he's one of the millions losing their health insurance under the new law. To make matters worse, his family hasn't been able to use the Obamacare website to find new insurance. My wife originally did it right, right when it started, and uh, she got as far as entering the passwords and the the security question thing got turned away. Today's numbers show only 106,000 people successfully enrolled the first month, despite predictions of 500,000. 79,000 signed up in the 14 states plus D.C. that have their own websites, but less than 27,000 signed up in the 36 states using the federal site. This week, the White House promised the numbers would be low. For a lot of people, that promises come true. Rebecca Cinderbrand with Politico says there are still big questions the numbers don't answer. Just how many of the people who've signed up now are the young, healthy people that the administration needs in order to make this plan work? The House Oversight and Government Reform Committee held a hearing today on the technical problems at healthcare.gov. There were more assurances from the Obama administration saying that work is being done around the clock to fix things by December 1st, but some experts believe the site won't be ready in time. And still ahead.